everyone welcome back and in this video I'll be giving you some information on the difference between ETL and ELT so if you don't know what is ETL and ELT I suggest that you check out the videos that I have given in the description box I have taken separate videos on what is ETL and ELT and then if you come back to this video it will be much more relatable so without any delay let's get into this so the first point about the difference on ETL and ELT is that in ETL only structured data can be loaded whereas you look at ELT unstructured and structured data can be loaded so that's the main difference the next one is data storages consists of relational databases data warehouses data mats anything that is structured and requires a particular format those are the data storages that are used whereas when you look at ELT since it has to accommodate both structured and unstructured data the data sources would vary it would be a combination of the relational databases plus it would be the data storages that would have can manage and maintain unstructured data for example you have the data lakes that is a hybrid data storage so if you want to know the difference between the databases data lakes warehouses data mats I have taken a video on that also and I have given it in the description box you can take a look at that video I would have given the differences about these data storages it will be helpful and the next difference is transformation occurs before the load by default so if you see the ETL pipeline it consists of extraction transformation and loading so by default before data gets loaded into the target systems data has to be transformed why data has to be transformed is because the incoming data might not be in the right format of the target systems so in order to modify and to match your data format into the target systems format you need to do some type of a transformation and that is why transformation always has to be done before the load else there'll be a format mismatch and you cannot load your data the, whereas when you look at ELT transformation occurs after the load on demand in the target data storages so it's not a must that you have to do transformation and then load your data in order to avoid that scenario transform the ELT was brought into where transformation occurs after the load so once you have loaded your data whenever you want to do your transformation whatever type of transformation you want to do you can do it on demand and it's not a mandatory step and also one more point to note is that the transformation is done in the target data storages itself it's not like a separate step transformation will be done in the destination uh, destination uh, data storages itself okay and the next point is data st uh, the stored data is more compliant due to transformation logic example masking data now imagine you're having data coming in from multiple data sources this data would have a lot of information it can have different variety of informations also because of the it, it might have personal information it might have very generic information so when you're dealing with personal information with personal identifiable information it has to definitely companies and organizations need to follow certain regulations and compliance okay at that time you cannot expose personal information or confidential information so that's where transfer we, the transformation logics that is every transformation that is done it will it will help to you know um, manage this regulations and compliance um, criteria. so for example I have given masking of data let's say you're getting some data an excel sheet of um, information about individuals or credit card information now the people who even do the transformations and who want to do analysis they should not be able to view such personal identifiable information so before it is even loaded data has to be masked any confidential information should be masked or it should be hidden or it should be removed so all this type of you know processes and manipulation will be done in the transformation phase and since this is done the ETL is more compliant whereas when you look at the ELT data is just taken it's extracted and loaded 
okay there's nothing being applied directly in the loading phase there's nothing being masked no encryption is done so sometimes your compliance will be affected because uh, sometimes if you see the clients companies they will not want personal information to be loaded into some third parties oh it, they will expect it to be you know encrypted and managed in a very secure manner but sometimes because of the direct extraction and loading there might be some compliance that can be affected but not all the time unless there are different ways that companies adopt to manage this okay the next one is data being loaded is at intervals as time taken to transform data due to the volume and variety of incoming data so as i said definitely transformation has to be done before loading okay so imagine whenever an organization we learned up we know about business intelligence tools or oh, any business they need data in order to process okay their information and conduct various processes also so only if data is loaded the businesses and people they would be able to take that loaded data and they would be able to do further processing but when the data is being transformed when there's so much of time being taken to transform the data the data is not immediately extracted and loaded there will be a time period where transformation has to take place so till that transformation is taking place the data will not be in the loaded target systems which means that people will not have updated data okay they will have to wait for some time till the entire transformation process is completed and loaded only then they will be able to use that data okay this was the main reason for moving to elt when moving to elt data was extracted loaded into the system later on people who wanted to do the transformation they will do transformations if they wanted structured data then they will go in for transformations that is on demand suppose people if you see the data scientists people dealing with qualitative analysis not relating to any structure if they are doing that type of an analysis they don't need any uh, you know structured data so whatever is unstructured data they will take and process it all they need is the data at that time and they have it so that was the real beauty of elt and why there was a shift to the elt approach okay the next point is this is the first approach which was brought in when it came when we uh, when there was a talk about data integration the very first approach was the etl but later on in the point that i told earlier is the reason why they moved to elt was because of those data demand on time for real time data they moved to elt which became the second approach so e etl has a longer you know history and people are well versed with etl and people are there are a lot of professionals also who are adapted to this particular uh, you know approach whereas elt was a very modern um, i can say it was a very uh, what to say it came out few years back so there are still people you know yet to adopt to elt but it totally depends some people they some companies might want to go with elt some might want want to go with etl so it depends but what i'm coming to say is this was the first approach and this was the second approach so whichever is applicable whichever is you know suitable for businesses businesses start adopting to it and if you the next point you see over here is also the transformation causes large processing time and requires huge processing resources now it's very nice when you think of etl or oh, the data is going to be really structured your all your transformation is taking and then taking place and then the structured data is going to be loaded it's very nice to hear but you definitely you have to wait for some time till the processing takes place and also businesses they need the suitable processing resources to transform that data transformation is not just going to take place with some you know by magic you need sufficient resources and sometimes we are dealing with the world of big data data is just flowing in like anything so when you're getting large volumes of data when you're getting so much of variety of data and you have to you know tweak that format of data imagine the amount of processing resources that you need in order to transform that data 
so this is one uh, aspect to etl it takes a lot of the processing time would be large and also you need as much as this processing resources to transform that data and when you look at elt transformation is not a separate step and therefore load time is reduced so the transformation as i said you don't have to wait for all the data to be transformed and then loaded the transformation takes place in the target destination itself okay and the last point you will know why this this transformation does not take a lot of time is because most of some businesses they have all these resources on premise okay sometimes when the data is too large they are not able to accommodate that data they don't have enough resources for processing then they look out for cloud environments where they can scale up where they can scale up their processing and their infrastructure so that very you know um process of moving from on prem to cloud and scaling up it's very tedious okay but when you look at elt most of the time it's with the cloud storages where data can be scaled up so whenever there is a need for any processing and transformation there is immediate scaling of unlimited resources to cater to that particular need okay so these are some you know um, differences between etl and elt i hope that you got a little bit of information on what is the differences but i'm not saying that one is better than the other it totally depends on the type of the business what are their goals what are their requirements based on that companies they would choose the right strategy that works well for them so that's it for this video if you like this video please do give this a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe and also do share your feedbacks thank you